Well, this is the final week. Week 41. We've been in this scripture study. I, I, uh, I, I need to correct. We have been in this scripture study 10 months. 10 months and one week that we've been here. Now, there may have been some months that have five weeks in it, but if you're just going by four weeks per month, we've been in this 10 months and a week. We're counting this week. We've got two more days this week, and then we're going to let the Lord lead us into what he wants us to, to finish out and and uh, finish this week out and start into something new. Oh, I thank God for his word. I thank God for all that he's done in the last 10 months, the last 41 weeks that we have been studying all these in him scriptures. Now, I want to encourage you to get this card, get this list, download the list, get the, get in contact with me, and I will send you a card. It's a good bookmark, and it's a quick reference to go back and get in what God is saying to you, for you, and about you in His Word. Oh, I thank God for all the truths that He has shown me and all the thousands of others that have downloaded this podcast in the last in the last year, in the last ten months and, and a week. That they, I mean, I looked the other day. We've got almost ten thousand downloads. I don't know that we hadn't got over ten thousand because we've had a in a large influx this month of of downloads that we hadn't been getting, and it just it it thrills me to see all the enthusiasm that people get and in what God is saying and and how He's saying it. I'm talking about this podcast is going all over the world, reaching people and teaching them that, hey, you can stand on what he says, stand on what he says, and believe it. Glory to God. Now, I want to encourage you, like I said, get this card and go back to June the 21st of 2021 and and study this, this, this study with us. Go through the entire thing. And, and let, let God minister to you through his word. He wants to strengthen you. He wants to help you. And he will. All you have to do is determine in your heart, I'm going to believe what God said in his word. I'm going to quit letting the devil make me doubt. I'm going to believe what God says over and above anybody else's opinion. Glory to God. I am so enthused about bringing you these prayers every time I do this podcast. You know, Paul wanted the Ephesians to come to understand the, the love that God had for them. And that is my desire for the world that we live in today, that everyone under the sound of my voice, everyone that walks the face of this rock we ride on this planet, come to know and understand the love that God has for them. Glory to God. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I've not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. 
I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he opens my eyes to that love, that mercy, and that grace, and that goodness more and more every day of my life. And he does it through his word. He can do it in your life through his word. The more you take his word and consume it like you would a good meal and allow it to feed your inner man, the stronger you will be. The more you'll come to know and understand just how good he is, just how much he's for you today. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you for all that you're doing in my life, all that you're going to do and all that you have done. Lord, I pray that you guide and direct me. Help me be the light and the vessel. Lord, that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Well, this is the last day of our In Him Scripture study. And we couldn't have landed on this last verse but this could, that we couldn't have picked a, a better verse to, 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 to finalize this study. It's in Revelation, the first chapter, and the fifth and the sixth verse. It says, And from, from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us, from our sins in his own blood. Listen, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to be to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. I want to uh to go and and, and read something. I wasn't I just the Lord just brought this to my remembrance and, and I, I think he wants me to do it. I want I want to read the uh, part of the commentary for this uh, for this verse out of Andrew Womack's commentary, and I don't I don't know what it says. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what it says, but I want to read what he has written for this fifth and sixth verse. It says G- Jesus is a is the faithful witness. The English word for witness here known as the Greek word martis. Now, the sixth verse is what I'm, I'm looking at. It says, There was a very clear separation between kings and priests in the Old Testament. King Uzziah was struck with leprosy because he tried to do what only priests could do. But the New Testament believer is both king, both a king and a priest. That is, that is something no Old Testament believer had. We are a royal priesthood. First Peter 2 and 9 says, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, people that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now I want to talk to you today about we have been made to be kings and priests. Now, I want to talk to you about how a king speaks, what a king speaks. You know, when a king, when a king wants something, now this is talking about us being kings and priests through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And when a, when a, physical, when a, 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 a physical king of a nation wants something, do they get out here and toil and, and work for something? No, they don't. 
You know what they do? They speak. They, they say, look, go get me that. And guess what? The people that are, that are waiting on that king goes and does what that king says. That's what God wants us to understand today. That if we will speak his word and his will over the things in our life that, that, look, that we have need of, that we are, are, are looking at, at, at using for the kingdom of God, we can act like the kings that we are. That, that we, can, we can step out by faith and speak over the, the mountains that stand in front of by us to keep us from accomplishing what we are doing in, this, in, in, the, in, in, our, in God's kingdom. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you an example today that, that I want you to understand that I'm standing in. You know, uh, the devil built, uh, just built a mountain in front of me five weeks ago. And that mountain was a, a sickness that could have ended up in a, in a deadly mess. And what I want you to understand is when I came out of that that place that 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 God just you know basically reached down and pulled me out of when I came out of that you know what I came out doing I came out speaking like the king that I have been made to be in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I came out speaking to that mountain that Satan had built in front of me and you know what I've been speaking what, I, what I've been speaking for the last five weeks, Isaiah 53, 5, by the stripes, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I am healed. I am whole. Just like Alan was talking about yesterday, he, he laid his hand on my chest and said, whole. I knew what he was talking about. I'm whole in Jesus' name. I know I, I know it without a shadow of a doubt. I, am, I claim that healing that Jesus just died to give me, that took stripes on Calvary's cross to give me that. He, get, he, he, he took stripes to give you the healing that you need. And if, and if, and if I do anything in my life, I'm going to speak to the effect of the king that I have been made to be in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I want to read that sixth verse again in Revelation 1. It said, Has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. To him be the glory. To God be the glory. To Jesus Christ and what he has done in my life be the glory for all that he has done. I, I can talk for the rest of the day and not scratch the surface on what God can and will do in your life, in my life, and in anybody else's life that believe, will believe him. I think it was Smith Wigglesworth that says, you know, God will pass up a million people to get to one that will believe him. And that is so true. He, but God will, God will, 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 will cir- uh, circle this earth a million times to find one that will just stand up and, and be the king and the priest that he is and proclaim what he needs in his life. I needed the healing of God. I, I needed him to touch me. And, and, and I, I seen my, my wife sat and watched a miracle take place. And, and I mean, like I said, I, like I said it last week or yesterday that I didn't realize it. I was in the fog for, for a whole week, really didn't know what was going on. But all of a sudden, my wife, she said, from Sunday to Wednesday, I didn't know if you was going to make it or not. But on Wednesday, she said, I, I knew without a shadow of a doubt she was coming out of it. And, 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 and when I come to, come to myself and, and got to the place that I could speak and, 
and overcome that. You know, the devil's trying to shut me up. He's trying to shut me up, but God loosened my mouth and and let me start proclaiming that I'm healed and whole in Jesus' name. And I had people all over this town, all over this nation, agreeing with me that I was healed and whole in Jesus' name. I knew it without a shadow of a doubt. I, I, had, I had Satan send some, send, send some of his best soldiers to, to, to discourage me. I told, I told one of them, just hush, hush, I don't want to hear it. You, if you can't say no, nothing more, no more than that, don't call. Cause I don't want to hear nothing out of you, but how God has made me whole. Agree with me. If you're going to do anything in somebody's life, agree with them that the word of God is true above all opinion. Agree with them that, that they're going to see the end of a Christian life strong. If, 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 I, if I'm willing to stand up and be the king that I'm supposed to be in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, for goodness sake, agree with me. And I'm going to agree with you. As a man asked me today, he said, he, you know, wanted me to pray about something. And uh, his, his, uh, one of his family members was about to go in to start uh, chemo. I said, I'm going to agree with you that, that that chemo works to perfection. I'm going to agree with you. And he threw his fist up, and we fist bumped, said, it's done. I'm going to agree with you that it works to perfection. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear a, a bunch of junk. And people, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not going to imp- imply and push a bunch of crazy fear and doubt and unbelief on somebody. No, I'm going to, I'm going to agree with them that it works to perfection. That the, that the word of God is going to go to work in their life, and what those doctors are doing, that it's going to work and and work to perfection according to Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior, and stand in that. That's talking. That's that's speaking as a king. That's that that's standing up and proclaiming the truth that God has written down for I for us to stand in and believe. And I'm gonna do that. I, and I want you to do that. I want you to come to the conclusion that you, as a born again child of God, are a king and a priest, and you can stand up and proclaim the truth that God has written down for you to stand in. Proclaim it with your mouth. Believe it in your heart. That's how you get things done. That's how you see things changed in your life. Proclaim it with your mouth and believe it in your heart. Stand in it. Walk in it. Be the king and the priest that you have been made to be through Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Now listen, I want to ask you a question. Are you born again? Have you listened to all these podcasts, 41 weeks of them, and never made Jesus Lord of your life? I want to ask you, are you will, do you want to? Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Do you want to be saved today? Confess Jesus as Lord. Do you believe that, that God uh, done what he said he done, and Jesus came and he died on the cross for your sins and was raised on the third day? If you believe that, all you got to do is make him Lord, confess him as Lord, invite him in, invite him to be Lord of your life today. He wants to be Lord. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today and watch him change your life forever. Now, hey, if you're a, if you're a partner of this ministry, partners, thank you for all that you do. I want to invite you to go to our website. If you've got a prayer request, whether you're a partner or whether you're not, if you've got a prayer request, send me that prayer request. I want to send you scriptures that you and I both can stand on and believe on that God's got an answer for your prayers because I know he does. And those answers are in his word. 
Stand on those those answers. Believe those answers. And it's, those answers will come straight out of God's Word. I want to send you those answers. Go to our website. It, like I said, if you if you are listening to this podcast and you need something from God, send me that request. I want to stand in agreement with you according to God's Word. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. Like I said, if you're a partner of this ministry, partners, thank you. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. Oh, I thank God for faithful partners that do just that. They sow into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to give His Word away free of charge to anybody that'll listen. Thank you, partners. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.